Welcome back to Diversity in Aquatics 2019 uh, annual conference here at the Marriott Hotel, downtown Miami, Key Biscayne uh, Marriott. I'm giving you a shout out. Send a brother uh, some uh, sponsorship money. I'm, I'm giving you all this publicity. Also, a big shout out to Thaddeus Gamery, who's running cameras for us. We, what we're doing here is everybody's helping out everybody. And Thaddeus is always good at helping people out and bringing people to Diversity in Aquatics. This is the Diversity in Aquatics Conference. I'm Lee Pitts, and I bring my television show here every year. And I'm a member of the Board of Advisors for Diversity in Aquatics. I just happen to be a television talk show host. Now that I've said all of that, let's get into the good part of this, the conference, and meet some of the various people who come from all over the world to be a part of this conference. So without further ado, let's get your name and what you do. Hello, uh, it's a pleasure to be here, Lee. Uh, my name is Joshua Bailey. I'm from Jamaica. I run a swim club in Jamaica called the Blue Marlin Swim Club. We also have a company up here called Legacy Through Sports. And our major mission really is to get people in the water, get people learning scuba diving, get people sailing, get people swimming, whether it be just recreational or competitive, and just trying to do exactly what this convention is, increase the diversity in aquatics. Right. And we meet hundreds of people who come out each year. And him, I met him about two years ago. He reminded me of that because I see so many people. And then we connected and we're going to do some other things in the future. Uh, first of all, before I come over here, just to establish some things. Um, why did you think it was important that you come to a conference like this? Uh, I thought it was important because it's really in line with what I'm trying to do. And the minute that uh, I met this uh, young lady named Aliyah Atkinson, who is the world record holder for breaststroke in 100 and 200 meter, and uh, she, she was really pushing the envelope of diversity in aquatics by being the first African American to break the world record in breaststroke. And uh, so she was the one that introduced me to Sean, actually, Sean Anderson, who further introduced me to Thaddeus. And that's how I came here in 2017. And uh, uh, they saw the work that I was doing in terms of getting orphans involved in swimming, getting more Caribbean people involved in swimming. Uh, it's an interesting t statistic that uh, small island developing states, usually roughly about 55 to 60 percent of their population do not know how to swim, even though they're islands. Yeah, people assume just because they live on the island, they know how to swim. Right. So yeah, so that's been uh, my mission and it's been a family mission. My mom has been a swim coach and a swim club owner, my sister's in it. And so it's been a family mission and I figured that uh, it would be great to come to such an uh, event and a conference. And I've just met so many like-minded individuals that's helped uh, reinvigorate me. And uh, you know, I've seen links and connections that we can continue to do great things. So Jamaica is in the house. Now you are Jamaican with 15 jobs. Y'all Jamaicans have 15. <laughs> Okay, this dude is also deals in tennis as well. Go. Yes, I, yeah, I've been. I was pretty much a jock in high school, so I was a competitive swimmer, and then I, I got a little tired of waking up at five o'clock in the morning to get wet. So I, I switched to tennis for a while, and uh, yeah, so I teach tennis. I'm a tennis pro, scuba diver, sailor. So I just like to get out there. And you understand that joke from a, uh, yeah, in yeah, living yeah, colors? The Jamaicans exactly. have 15 <laughs> jobs. <laughs> Stay right there. I'll be right back. Let's get your full name and what you do. Hi, my name is Marta Fowler and I live here in South Florida. I'm a certified U.S. Master Swim Coach and mm. also a volunteer with Diversity and Aquatics. I am a new swimmer. Uh, only three years ago I came to a U.S. Master's group and I said, can you teach me how to swim? And that's exactly what they did and they helped me through uh, this uh, process of learning how to swim and I'm uh, now a uh, instructor a swim coach Whoa. I have done several triathlons and also oh. I'm, a, I'm an open water swimmer so amongst those things I volunteer my time with diversity in aquatics bringing programs to other uh, communities here in South Florida in addition to uh, leading a program in Mexico City where I partnered up with a government organization that has over 150,000 children and we have been able to reach out only to 200 100 kids every year we're celebrating International Water Safety Day. You're physically located here in South Florida? Yes, I am here mm -hmm. in Delray Beach, Florida Okay. and we have a program and uh, Lauder Hill and Broward County where we teach uh, different uh, people that had come to us to learn to swim and also we introduce things like the blue mindfulness in water as well as uh, high performance fitness training within the water. Is there a website or somewhere people can go to get more information on what you're doing? Ah, oh, well, we can, they can get to us through Diversity and Aquatics. They can reach out to us, uh, okay. Coach Thaddeus Gamori and myself, Martha Fowler. They can find us through uh, Diversity and Aquatics. We, I also have, 
We also have in Diversity in Aquatics Facebook page. Okay. We have uh, our swimming uh, uh, information for those uh, sessions. We are every Saturday. And also I have an additional group that is called Swim uh, Open Water Swimmers, Delray Beach Open Water Swimmers, and Facebook. This is the one I run every Sunday. What will you take away from this convention so far, all the things you've experienced so far? What are you taking away from it? Uh, lots of things, a lot of networking, some really amazing people that are bringing ideas. I can see some ideas sparking as well. I'm doing an international event. I love to be able to partner up with some new people that are new faces and be able to expand the, my, uh, you know, the program that I'm doing in Mexico and other communities as well as here in South Florida. The, uh, what would you like to say to the people from, from Diversity in Aquatics for putting on a conference of this nature? Oh, this is an amazing uh, conference. Uh, we, I was able to work and collaborate a little bit with the organization as well as the event that we have tomorrow. It's, it takes a lot of work. Uh, and we need to keep working and bring in more volunteers. Yeah, I'm bringing more volunteers also because it's, it's a way to get to create community. Mm -hmm. We're creating community. We're not only creating swimmers. This is not our job. It's about creating community. Thank you. The, um, what have you taken from this conference so far? What have you learned? Uh, and uh, did it live up to expectations? I think it surpassed expectations for me. I had the pleasure of working or being taught by the legendary Ken Rowland. I had the pleasure of meeting you, Mr. Lee Pitts, who have our uh, examples and uh, role models for the black American uh, community, for anyone actually who has a mission and a vision uh, towards helping people. Uh, I've really gotten invigorated and encouraged to continue my work, continue to work with people. And I'd like to say thank you to Thaddeus, thank you to Lee, thank you to Mr. Ken Rowland, thank you to all of the organizers and everyone that has put this together. And yeah, <laughs> I think she's already asked you to partner with her. That's a done deal. <laughs> that, that, that's a done yes. deal. <laughs> right? That's, <laughs> right? that's a done deal. And uh, yeah, so just keep doing the good work and I'll be here 2020. I brought my wife this year. Next year I'm looking to bring about four more people. And so let's keep it going. Man, whenever I talk to you, you motivate me, man. Your enthusiasm, you remind me of me uh, 20 years ago or so. I <laughs> keep up the good work, man. Great things are going to happen. Uh, the um, uh, which workshop that you attended so far that really resonated with you in terms of what was being discussed and what you learned? I think really we got a lot of information in each one, but uh, totally what one of the concepts is the blue mindfulness and how we incorporate this kind of concepts within our practice and our uh, routines in the pool and really bringing people, especially non-swimmers, uh, bring them for, from the first time into the uh, water and really help them to embrace the concept and with the water, how we feel being in water. One of the things, uh, along with what these two just said, is remember, swimming opens, learn to swim opened up many doors uh, in the field of swimming, uh, aquatics, water sports, confidence in yourself, yeah. being prepared when you go to uh, civil service jobs, to, um, when you go to the military, when you work in police departments, EMS, techs, firemen, all of those types of paralegal uh, professions require you to have some competent swim skills. And if you got those skills, when you go to apply for those jobs, it makes you a, a, a more marketable and more uh, easily to be hired and you're confident in what you do. So don't just think about swimming as a way to keep from drowning. You're not going to drown if you follow basic water safety tips. You can drown even if you know how to swim. That's just using common sense and never swim along and swim into uh, dangerous areas. Uh, the key thing is learn to swim for your total development as a human being in this country, uh, in this world that's covered with over 75% water learn how to swim. We'll be right back with more from Diversion Aquatics right here at the Marriott Hotel. Keep, keep this game in Miami.